this is the fifth problem in the question they said that draw a circle of radius 6 cm from a point 10 cm away from its center construct the pair of tangents to the circle and measure their lengths verify by using pythagoras theorem so after drawing the tangents we have to verify by using pythagoras theorem so let us start with what they have said so they said that we have to draw a circle with radius 6 cm so let us take 6 cm radius so this is our radius it is 6 cm from a point O this is our center center is O then next we have to draw a point out of the circle which is 10 cm away so let us draw a point which is 10 cm away from this center Now we will join these two points. This point is P. We have to join O and P. Then next, after joining this O and P, we have to draw the perpendicular bisector of O and P. So perpendicular bisector means we have to take more than half of this OP. So it is more than half. So let us draw one arc below and above then next from the other point we have to draw the same where these two arcs meet then next we have to join these two arcs this perpendicular bisector is intersecting the point the line op at m then next with the center m we have to take the radius as mp or else om and draw the circle from p we have to draw a line segment where this the circle intersecting the other circle these are our required two tangents so let it be PA and PB. Now we will write the construction steps. So steps of constructions are first we have drawn a circle with the center O and radius as 6 cm so draw a circle with center o and radius 6 cm in second step we have taken a point which is out of the circle such that op is 10 cm so this distance is 10 cm and the radius here from O to A we can draw 6 cm and the same with B so OB is also 
सिक्स सेंटीमीटर सो रेडियस इज सिक्स सेंटीमीटर नेक्स्ट टेक अ पॉइंट आउट ऑफ द सर्कल सच दैट ओ पी इज टेन सेंटीमीटर then join op in the third step when we have drawn this line we have drawn the perpendicular bisector of op so draw perpendicular bisector to op which bisects op at m in the fourth point after drawing this perpendicular bisector we have we have taken m as center take m as center and m o or m p or m p as radius draw another circle which intersects so this circle intersects the given circle at a and b then next after this we have to join p to a and p to b join p to a and p to b then next pa and pb are the therefore pa and pb are the required tangents next is proof in this triangle oap in triangle oap we know that pythagoras theorem is hypotenuse square if you see oap pythagoras hypotenuse is op so op square is equals to opposite square plus adjacent square so oa square plus ap square it should be equal to this square sum of squares so op is 10 10 square is equals to oa is 6 square plus p is 8 cm square so 10 square is 100 Is equals to six square is thirty six plus eight square is sixty four. So hundred is equals to thirty six plus sixty four is also hundreds. So therefore, AP is a tangent. Similarly. bp is also a tangent 